listen to Mallory Garza on Stoking God's Fire. I have a lot of people that tell me they were on fire for God like I was at one point, but it went away with time. So I sought the Lord about this and he said their fire for me only went out because they chose to no longer seek my face. It's just like this fire. God initially lights the fire when we first get baptized in the Holy Spirit. After that, depending on how committed I am, I determine how long this fire burns and how big it becomes. I have to feed it with the right wood, give it enough oxygen, give it some lighter fluid. This wood is the word of God and the oxygen that this fire needs is the breath of God that we get when we seek his face. And this is our oil. This is the anointing, the Holy Spirit gathering all all of these things will cost me. I actually have to get up and go get the wood. I have to sit here and keep an eye on the fire. And I have to go and buy this lighter fluid. We understand to walk with God means to present ourselves as a living sacrifice. And a living sacrifice, according to Leviticus 6.13, requires a fire that continually burns. God says, I'd rather you be hot or cold because there's no such thing as a lukewarm fire. You either have a fire or no fire at all. This is so true. The Lord is amazing and he is who we should be focused on. I love you. God loves you.